Welcome back. Today it's Tutorial Tuesday. It's not always Tutorial Tuesday, but today is Tutorial Tuesday because we're doing a tutorial. Let's get started! All right, so what we have here is the Diamond Lil. It is the B24C87 version, which was a passenger B24 and cargo plane, basically. And so what we have here is the nose art. And the nose art is using the old paint blocks, the original paint blocks, which are now called paint indicator blocks. So what we're gonna do is go into the editor and I'm gonna show you what these are and the difference is. So if we come down here into this really big room that is way too big for this little plane, and we come down here and we look at the blocks, you will see they have a backlight and even a place to hook up your battery juice. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and convert these over to the regular old paint blocks. So if I come in here and find the regular old paint blocks, we have the paintable indicator and the paintable sign. So now these old blocks are now called paint indicators. And so if we put one of these down and we put one of the paintable signs down and we go into logic mode, you can see that we only see the paint indicator. That's because it has a place for electricity and it has a place for the backlight connection to turn it on and off. So what we want to do for the sake of just cleaning up the planes and keeping logic visible that I want to use and not this big block of stuff that I don't. So anyways, I thought I would put together this tutorial of how I'm changing these blocks so I don't have to convert the artwork over again to these different blocks. And I don't know if this makes an impact on any of the uh, frame rate or logic. It probably does help in logic mode slightly if you're having any slowdowns. This will eliminate those blocks. But for the most part, it is just a thing that I want to do, which was convert my blocks over to paintable signs and get away from having this mess in the logic editor. So going forward, of course, all my artwork will be probably, if it's not gonna light up, paintable signs. But for now, I'm gonna convert these old ones. So what we need to do is go ahead and get out of Stormworks and come over to our Explorer browser. So you can see here I have Endoscope app data roaming Stormworks data vehicles. And if you were to try to get over to yours, you would want to type in percent app data percent into your Explorer window and hit enter. And that's gonna bring you into this URL, Endoscope, well, it would be your name here, app data roaming. And then what we have to do is come all the way down to, whoops, come all the way up to Stormworks, click in there and then click into data and click into vehicles. And what we want to find is the C87, which is a B24. So we'll go down to B24, C87, diamondlil.xml. And I'm gonna right click and open it with my notepad. And it's gonna open this up. And you're gonna see we have a mess here. So I'm gonna click Control F and that's gonna bring up this. I'm gonna search for and replace sign with sign underscore NA. And that is the tag that's gonna turn the paint indicator blocks into paint signs. Weird, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit replace all. So you don't have to replace all if you don't want to. You could go one by one if you only want a section of them, but I don't care. I'm gonna replace all of my paint indicators with paint signs. So now I replaced them. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Then we're going to go back to Stormworks. All right, so now we're back in Stormworks. I'm going to go ahead and load the C87 B24 again. And it's going to load the plane. And we're going to come down here and look at our blocks. So what I did is I said all of these paint indicator blocks that are labeled sign in the XML are going to be replaced with the paint sign blocks or paintable sign blocks. So when I look at these in the logic mode, we're going to see that all of these are now paintable science. Ready? Here we go. Ta-da! They're all gone. So they are here still, of course, because the paintable signs do show up in the editor. But when you go into logic mode, since they don't have any connections, they are gone. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go ahead and convert this over so that all of the little paint blocks are now clear and I can actually get around this bomber without having all this. And if you want to see what I mean, let's go back and load, uh, let's load another B24. We'll load the old, or the, actually the new Diamond Lil, which was 
a restored diamond lil. And if we come down here, and you'll see there's the artwork there, and we've got some paintable blocks or paintable indicators all over here. When we go into logic mode, now we see them. There's some right here, there's all these little paint blocks here, and of course, the nose art. So if I go into that XML file again, and replace sign with sign underscore NA, that will make all those disappear into paintable signs. All right, so that's it for today. I will see you next time. And I'm just gonna go run away and not even try to go ahead and make something funny because I have nothing funny to do. I'm not gonna jump in the water. I am just gonna go to the edge and just stop. Oops.